A GOP congressional candidate is chosen in Saturday's caucus. A man is found alive after he was feared drown over the weekend at a local lake. And the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo is standing by to help wildlife in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm Maggie Johnson. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Over 70% of our customers are repeat buyers or referrals. To get a customer back in our business, you have to treat them right, sell them a quality vehicle, and back it like we do with our famous 100,000 mile warranty. Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. And now, the latest from Hoosier Ohio News Channel. State Senator Marlon Stutzman is now the GOP candidate to fill the 3rd District Congressional seat left vacant when Mark Souter resigned. Stutzman was selected during two rounds of voting during Saturday's caucus in Columbia City and will now take on Democrat Tom Hayhurst in the November election. Senator Dennis Cruz, a caucus voter, said that he thinks Stutzman will make an excellent candidate and predicts a win for Stutzman in November. In a bizarre turn of events on Saturday evening at Jimerson Lake, a man who was feared drowned turned up alive. Emergency responders were called out to the lake at about 9.30 that evening to answer a call of a possible missing boater when a passerby found a capsized kayak in the water. After a search of the lake and the shore, the unidentified man was found at his residence in what a DNR officer called a highly intoxicated state. He was later taken to Cameron Hospital to be checked out. The Fort Wayne Children's Zoo is ready to do whatever it can to help out the animals who are now in danger due to the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Zoo veterinarian Joe Smith says staff members with bird and animal experience are ready at a moment's notice to help with wildlife recovery. Fort Wayne is one of 60 zoos around the country ready to take part in the relief efforts. The DeKalb High School Marching Band, the Baron Brigade, will be marching this Wednesday to raise money for students to participate in this year's band activities. According to the Star, the cost for each student to participate in band is about $350. The march will begin at Smith Acres Park around 1 p.m. on Wednesday with stops at Weasley Park Apartments, the DeKalb County Courthouse, the Ben Davis Dealerships, and Eckert Public Library before returning to the park. So if you see the marching band out there marching, you can show them your support with a generous donation. And that's the news for now. I'm Maggie Johnson. Have a great day. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state. So banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your preferred auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.